you could almost see Amazon as almost Big Brother. I mean, you know what we buy, you know even what we wish for. <laughs> um, uh, and I guess my question is, in terms of when it comes to uh, marketing and the whole do not track issue, uh, where do you stand on that? And uh, what, you know, what are some of the areas of pushback that you found from your uh, customers? Well, I think one of the most important things to try and do in this role, because it's changing very quickly, the capabilities are changing, um, the technology is changing. What we try to do is make sure that we're straightforward with people so for example, you know, we have always made personalized recommendations. We've been doing that for 15 years. And we greet you by name when you come to the website. So we have, I think we have a best-in-class privacy policy. We certainly work hard on making sure we follow that privacy policy. But then beyond that, the way we design our website sort of clues people in to the fact that we have information about your past purchases and that we're using that information to try and do something for you that will help you. So it's a, you know, people, um, I think some of the companies that have gotten the biggest sort of, you know, kerfuffles over privacy, you go and look at what they've done and probably they're following their, their privacy policy, but nobody knew what it was and they weren't, and the, the website wasn't making it clear what they were doing, and so people then felt, um, it just felt creepy. So like the number one thing is, with, I think that if I were giving advice to companies that, you know, would you recording and using customer purchase data and so on, I would say try to make the things that your customers do every day on your website uh, kind of just self-showing. That's the, 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 as you use the website, you see, oh yeah, they do have, you know, if you go out to Amazon, if you go to a detail page on Amazon of a product you already bought, they'll tell you, you bought this, um, you know, on December 20th, 1998. And the reason we added that feature, by the way, is because people were accidentally buying things twice. <laughs> and so we had, it was wow. very common. That was a terrible witness for you. Well, you know, actually, it, we had a we had a discussion about that because we could measure the that feature. We call it um, inline order update. And it's a little stripe. If you, guys, if you guys are familiar with the website, you will have seen it on the page. But there's a little stripe at the top of the detail page that says, you know, here's when you bought that when you bought this item. 